Just a little bit of a warning for some of my more sensitive viewers. Uh, there is a lot of foul language and innuendo in this video, so if you're not into that sort of thing, you don't have to watch this. I'm right there with you normally, but this is the script that came out of my head, so I'm going with it. Yeah, so I still have like two days left before the child support payment was due, and the chick says she wants more money or else she's gonna say I was late with it. I think that she's legit blackmailing me, bro, you know what I mean? Hang on a second, just slow down. Did you really just say legit blackmail? Yeah, man, you know, like, legit. No, no, no. Hang on. How can blackmail be legit? Is there, is there some sort of illegal legal process you have to go through? Some sort of illegal paperwork that you need to fill out? And if you don't do it properly, the anti-authorities are gonna show up to your house and put you in mega prison? Look, bro, all I'm saying is this situation is not legit. You get me? Would you stop saying that word? You got a problem with me calling you bro? Well, yes, it makes you sound like a tool, but I was referring to legit. It just bothers me how that's replaced the word cool. It doesn't fit the context you put it in at all. It's like, if I wanted to say that movie was so refund. Yeah, bro, but cool doesn't mean cool. Yeah, I understand that cool is not used in context of explaining that something is below room temperature, but it's been around long enough to where it has some legitimacy. You see, that is how you use the word. Fudging whatever. See, that's another thing that I don't understand. Why do you have to use fudge as an adjective for everything? If you talk like that a hundred years ago, people would sue you for verbal harassment. You think you're better than me or something? What is your problem, bro? My problem is that I'm stuck here listening to you complain about your life, which could have been a whole hell of a lot better if you had any common sense whatsoever. Look, dude, my life only sucks because some broad is making- Yeah, you know why that is? Because you couldn't keep your willy in your pants for a night, alright? People like you have inspired me to stay celibate until I'm married. Sucks to be you, bro. Really? Because I can think of numerous advantages here. I don't have syphilis, I don't have gonorrhea, and I don't have AIDS. And I certainly don't have to pay child support until I'm 65 years old because I couldn't keep my schlong in my pants. See, you're in debt for life, friend. And all it takes is five minutes with some broad you met at a frat party. Twenty minutes if you know how to pace yourself, and thirty if you really know what you're doing. At least I've been with some chicks where you're just stuck jerking it. Wrong again, I don't do that either. I got better things to do with my time than slap around the one-eyed dragon every day. I don't let him think for me. See, most men think with their penises, and that's why they're all a bunch of dicks. <laughs> what are you, gay or something? Nope, I'm a gentleman. Not much of a difference when you get right down to it. I may not be your stereotypical Bruce Willis, John Wayne, man's man, but I'm definitely not a man's man, if you know what I mean. Know what I'm saying? Picking up what I'm putting down, catching my drift to float your boat, rocking my toboggan, stepping on my cheesecake. Wait, what? You're stepping on my cheesecake. I paid good money for that. <laughs> Sorry, bro. You show me the fudging medical records and I'll let you call me bro. Dude, you're a dick. I prefer to be called Richard, thanks. What? Oh. Yeah, stick that in your pipe and shove it up your ass. And that's the end of my show, donk. I got this friend, let's call him the letter B, because we're apparently sponsored by Sesame Street. The letter B, he says to me, obnoxiously, that he has to see a PhD about his STD, so the letter B is let me see, thankfully, the celibacy is the thing for me, because I don't have HIV.